Okay, good morning. Just got this in. It is, what, August 5th, 2013. This is my farmer's foot drum. I've been waiting for this thing for five and a half months. Oh, let's see what we got. I ordered a case for it too, so that's good. Looks like a nice case. I got it. Hey, right. nice gator case for it. Heavy duty case. I heard a noise in there. <laughs> Pretty excited about this. Farmer foot drum. I see wood. <laughs> I had mine uh, made with a different color stain on the top. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of bizarre. Oh, it only opens that far. Oh, here it is. Got a Velcro strap on the side. You flip that up. Ooh, check that baby out. Awesome. Nice. Wow. Looks like it's built really excellent. Set that over here. Yeah, the case is really nice, really padded, really good. Uh, looks like it's got a little instruction deal here. The snare drum is upside down. And it's played, you play it with your heels like this. That's for the bass drum. Here's the bass drum beater. Let's see. Wow, looks pretty excellent. Uh, okay. It looks awesome. One's pedal, one pedal's higher than the other. Well, you can adjust that stuff. Here's the bass drum pedal. The bass drum is under here. Okay, I want to make sure I don't mess anything up. Okay, how do I get the bass drum out of there? Okay, there's a little rubber thing holding the space drum on on both sides. Flips up like this. Okay, I see where it goes already. Got to come all the way up. on this side. It looks like it's sticking out a little bit. We're almost there. See how the piece of wood is sticking out above from that hoop? Yes. Uh, this way of it. See? 
The other one's even on that side, and this one isn't. I don't know. I don't see that. Oh, well, maybe it is sticking out on that other side. There it is. Hmm. It's supposed to sit down in that thing right there. I cannot. Hopefully there's nothing else I'm supposed to take off. Don't see anything. up this is a hi-hat pedal I can see it moving in there but I don't have the symbols in there this is an egg shaker tambourine this is actually set up to hit the uh let's see what this switch does okay it's a notch thing you just pick it up and it adjusts it adjusts this drumstick in here, I think. Maybe you can see that moving in there. And that, there are, the hi-hat symbols will be inside over here. I have the symbols. But anyway, uh, there's a lot of little adjustments where you pick this thing up. Everything looks like really heavy duty. I'm going to get a kitchen chair and see if I can get some basic beat out of it. I have no idea what uh, what kind of chair I'm going to have to get. I actually have a little, there's a little thing back here. It's a platform for mounting uh, um, pedals. I have a harmony pedal. You can fit about Looks like about three regular size guitar processors. It'll take a while getting used to it. It feels real good. Here's some adjustments right here for the snare drum if you want it to be higher or lower, a lo a longer, like a longer throw, it'll be like that or like that. I'll put them all the way up, that'll... It's almost like a little popcorn snare drum. This would be my hi-hat.
Pops pretty good. Anyway, mine, uh, I don't know if you can see it from there, but it's it's got this red stain on the top. And it's got red stain back here. That's not the normal thing. I had to make that like that. This right here, you can take this off, flip the snare drum up. Here, I'll pull it up here. You can flip the snare drum up like that to get inside and make adjustments. It's made out of all maple, all maple shells, Keller shells, which are, you know, really good shells. I don't know how this uh, pedal was up. Okay. Okay, the pedal, this little pedal thing, I don't know, I'll flip this around a little bit. You can see it a little better from this angle. Here's this little pedal thing. It just, uh, see, these are the snare drum deals. I'll try to get a little zoom in on that. Get a little better look at everything here. Okay, this little platform right here just it just uh, flips up like that and it's got legs built onto it and that just sits on the floor like that then you mount your pedals on there I'll probably use velcro or something here's the adjustments you just pull these little things up slide them down there's notches and it's got like a little roller thing on it that sits down into the notches. This hardware right here, um, that it's really heavy duty hardware. This is, uh, see how adjustable this is. I see a drum key attachment on there. Because right now it's actually hitting the top. I see some kind of an adjustment here. Second adjustment. I'll have to look at the manual. Uh, everything on it is really heavy duty. All of the metal on it is all like brushed heavy duty. It looks like aluminum, but it actually feels like steel. I think it's some kind of steel. The bass drum, all of these pedals and everything look really heavy, heavy duty. You know, it's not. It's not cheap at all. He really built it at me. It's got, flip it up this way. You can see everything inside, all the guts of the thing. Um, look at these really heavy duty uh, feet on it. You know, this ain't going anywhere. This would be for the hi-hat. You can take this off. I don't know, maybe just, that's it. That falls right out. You can adjust where you want the stick. And this, this would reach across to hit the hi-hat symbol if you wanted to do like a tsh, you know, do a crash on the hi-hat symbol. You can take that out if you want. Uh, if you want to uh, not be using it as a crash, and not, not have that stick in there, you could adjust how it works, you know, and you can adjust your uh, snare drum. The snare drum actually hits from the bottom, like that. Great spot. Here's your hi-hat mechanism right in there. It'd be right right there. You gotta mount your, mount your cymbals in there. It's really nice. It's really nice, really heavy duty. I don't know what the slot here is for. Maybe making an adjustment or something. Here's the thing for these tambourines. It looks like it's not bad adjusted right now. That's it, the farmer foot drum. <laughs>